Hi guys, I'm Amelia and this is Pretty Nail Notes. How you doing? <laughs> it's good to see you back. <laughs> no, but for real though, um, if you did watch my first couple of videos, thank you. I appreciate your support. And if this is your first time seeing me, welcome. Come right on in. Feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I create content. With that being said, what I'm going to be doing today is a product haul. I visited my local nail supply store, got a few things there. I did order some things off of Amazon and I'm going to be sharing that with you today. And that's about it. That's it. That's all. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay. So let's get started. I did. Um, we're going to start off with, um, let's say the gel polishes. I got, um, let's see, two, four, six new polishes to add to my collection. And we can go ahead and get started with these. This one is called Mermaid Blue. And I really like this color. I had one like this before, but I used it all. But this is beautiful. It's like a it's a real pretty color. It's mermaid blue. And this is a D and D gel polish. And it's um, as you guys should already know, um, it's made with 100 percent pure gel. So these um I like the way that they go on like butter. It just slides on. Sometimes you only have to do two coats, sometimes one, depending on how um the look that you're going for. So that's the mermaid blue. Okay, and then I have Egyptian purple. And this one is pretty. I'm not sure what collection these are from, but this is really pretty. It's um, Egyptian purple. And it's beautiful. Kind of puts me, not exactly. I was about to say the pumpy eye purple, but no, it's a little different. Okay, so that's the Egyptian purple. This one is spring, you guys, and I'm ready for it. I'm ready. My loud colors. This one is glossy stars, and it's a pretty yellow. And look at that. That's a pretty yellow. Can you guys see the true color? Let's see if I could brighten it up just a little bit. Okay, that is Glossy Stars. It's pretty. And these D&D colors, they do come with the gel and a regular polish. Okay, I have this one and, well, let me finish with the 100% gel. This one is called... Light Macor. So this is Light Macor. It's a brown. We always need a brown. Your earthy tones. Uh, let me shake this one up a little bit. It's better to roll your gels like this. Warm them up, roll them. Versus shaking them up. It mixes. Yeah, this one is light macor. I got oil on my hands. Can you see that? It's a pretty brown. Light macor. I think I want to do some marbling with this. I just got an idea. This is beautiful. Light macor. Most people know that I like bright colors. They don't think I like dark colors, but I do. I like black and browns and dark blues. I like I'm just a colorful girl. But um those were the four new colors that I got in the D um the D and D that's a hundred percent gel. And then I got the D two of the ones, um, the D and D ones that um last up to 21 days. 
Uh, sometimes I get these if I'm looking for a color and I can't find it in 100% gel, then I get these because they do last. Um, they say 21 days, but they actually last longer than 21 days. They actually last if you apply them correctly until you get ready to take them off. But this one um, here is called Green Forest, AK Green Forest, but it's pretty. That's another beautiful spring color as well. Thought that was cute. I had to have that. Okay. And then this last one in the gels that I bought were, let me see, it's velvet. It's just called velvet. Yeah, it's marbled a little bit. It needs to be mixed. And this is kind of, to me, it says velvet, but it looks like periwinkle. I didn't, I don't have that mixed up well. Ooh. Guys, I'm, I'm so tired. Whew. I just been going, 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 going. I got to slow down because I'm exhausted. I didn't mix it well, but I'm sure you can see it's a pretty periwinkle color. It's another beautiful spring color. And the name of it is Velvet. These also come with the um, a gel and a um, regular polish as well. They're very inexpensive too. At my local nail supply store, I get um, the D&D, &D, the ones that last up to 21 days. These are actually $4.99 uh, for $4.95 for two and then the D and D the 100% gels with the gold top you can tell them apart because one box is red one is gold these tops and bottles are white and these 100% gels are in gold these are $5.95 so it's literally like a dollar difference um in the pricing for these two and both of them work as equally, you know, equally as well, but I just prefer the 100% gel. Then I love pink and I like the gold. I like, I think these bottles are cuter. Um, so that's that. So let's go ahead and put those to the side. I only picked up six of those colors, um, today. So I did try a new brand, um, where I bought two colors of acrylic to try this new brand, um, that I saw in the beauty supply store and it's called, let me wipe these off. You guys, I can't stand, you know, when you go to the beauty supply stores, dusty and got acrylic powders everywhere. But this brand, if you can see it, it's called Chisel. See that? It's called Chisel. And I bought this beautiful, this is called Solid 63. It's pretty though. It's like a um, J type of color, a green or a mint. But um, I think it's a little bit darker than that. Once you um, mix, you know, hit it with that acrylic liquid, I think it's a little bit darker than that. But I got this color and then I also tried another brown. And this one, um, this shade is OM58B. And that's um, the chisel nail art, OM58B. These um, chisel powders can be used as um, just, you know, applying it with your monomer and, um, you know, like your regular acrylic. And it also can be used as a dip powder. So whatever, whichever you choose to use, these powders can be um, used as either one of those. This is a two ounce. You get, you know, quite a good bit. They're bigger than the um than the um glitz and glam. This glitz and glams here is a one ounce jar. And if you're familiar with using glitz and glam, you can see the difference um that uh, in the size. This is a two ounce, this is a one ounce. These one ounce bottles are they usually run at my um nail supply store that I go to. These glitz and glam one ounce bottles run about $5.95, depending on what type of glitz and glam it is. If it's a um if it's just a normal colored powder, they're about a regular colored powder is about $5.95. But 
if you choose a glitter, this one is a glitter. I don't know if you can see if, if you get a glitter or um, like a mood, a mood effect, then the mood and the glitter is a little bit higher than, than um, you know, a little bit more expensive. These are $5.95. Those are eight, like around $8.95, but they're still really inexpensive for, um, for those. Um, the chisel, these brands for the two ounce, like I said, it is a bigger jar, a bigger container that you get it in. These run you um, about $11.95 these so i bought two i bought these two colors and thinking about doing something real earthy with these but i'm gonna try it and see how i like it see how well it mixes with the monomer that i have and i'll let you guys know um how it works i'll probably do a video of me um swatching um the acrylic powders that i have um i like to go ahead and get them swatched once i purchase some Okay, so these three are mood colors, and it is by Gl um, Glitz and Glam. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm saying that all wrong. It's Glam and Glitz. So um, this is a mood effect. The polish, the um, acrylics with the tops labeled like this. When you see that, you know that these are mood effects, and it says right on the top, collection mood effects. This one is called No Regard No Regards and it is a glitter. It's a real pretty red that transitions into like a rosy pink, but um it has glitter in it. I'm not sure if you can yeah, you can see that glitter. I think this is gonna be really beautiful when you put it on. But yeah, it's a um it's a mood, so it changes from that solid red to a rosy pink red. And again, it's called No reg no Regrets. No Regrets, I'm sorry. <clears throat> and that's the ME1026 Glitter. Okay. This is another mood color. And it's called Dust Till Done. And the number is ME1036. And it's a cream. This one transitions from a black, like a dark gray, almost black to a light gray and that's like i'm ready i want to see how that looks i got an idea for that as well but that's a pretty color too um this next one is called green light go and it's also a mood effect and the number is me 1014 and this is a cream as well <clears throat> but it transitions from a like an army green to kind of like a highlighted neon green. But that's one thing I like about uh, the mood effects. It shows you on the top, like if you get home, because, you know, you have your swatches in the store. And if you get home and forget, like, wait a minute, how did this look? Because as a nail tech, you know that once you put your um your monomer to your... A, your acrylic powder it doesn't look the same sometimes it's darker or lighter you know it just depends but um this shows you exactly what it looks like and from my experience it's like hit right on so right it's like spot on so those are the three um mood colors that i got in acrylic now <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do these, I guess. Okay, so these are the Glam and Glitz as well. And this is their uh, from their color, color to Critic collection. And I do see some of them have um, silver, red, black. I'm going to go ahead and um, separate them really quick. So um, I could kind of know what collection is from because the collection is actually on the bottles if i would have thought about it i'd actually did this before i begin but i do thank you guys for your patience okay so there we go okay all right so i have them kind of separated into collections now diamond acrylic collection Okay, and these, okay, so yeah, that's good. 
Okay, so let's start with these two because these are the only two with the blue labels, which are Fantasy Acrylic Collection by Glam and Glitz. So we'll go ahead and start with these two. This one is a pretty pewter color as well, kind of like that gel polish that I showed you. They kind of got that same um, that same tone, but this is actually a glitter acrylic, if you can see it. This is uh this acrylic is glitter and the name of it is Oasis. That's Oasis. Okay. That's pretty. And this is from the Fantasy Acrylic Collection. This is from the Fantasy Acrylic Collection as well. And this one is a glitter also and it's called Dazzle Lilac. And it have like specks of purple glitter. It's kind of like a chunky glitter, chunkier glitter than this one. This one is a, actually a fine glitter. And this is a chunky glitter. But that's pretty as well. And that's the Dazzle Lilac and Oasis. Okay. And now I have uh, what five of the color acrylic collection. And this is just the regular color acrylic collection. I have this brown. It's called Maryland. And this is a deep, dark brown. Like, it's really dark. I wanted to have, like, a um, several shades of brown for different skin complexions. Because, you know, some skin complexions, you'll need a, a, a lighter brown. Some, you'll need, like, a nude. Some, you'll need a darker brown. Depending on what you're doing in order to match well with the skin color. So, I did um, want to go ahead and get this Marilyn. It's a darker brown. It's like chocolate. It's pretty. It's like dark chocolate. And that's from um, the Colored Acrylic Collection. This now, oh my goodness, is electric. You see that? That's beautiful. You you should see it swatched. The swatch was so pretty. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a video after um, after this one, swatching the new... Um, the new um, acrylic colors. I'll let you guys know though. Just be, stay tuned, keep an eye out for it. But this one is actually called Jennifer. And girl, Jennifer, girl, mm, you pretty girl. Yes, you belong in the Pretty Nail Notes collection. Jennifer, girl, you pretty. You doing the thing, girl. Okay, so this one is pretty too. This is actually called Jade. This now, this right here, I have been trying to get this like three or four trips to the nail salon, which, which not the nail salon, the nail supply store, which I go often, like every, I try to go like every two months or so, depending on what I need. Cause some stuff I can get from the nail supply store out here by my house, but I did move last year and the one the nail supply store that i really like to go to is in uh, another part of atlanta so it takes me like an hour to get there but i had actually went three to four trips looking for this jade because i wanted to do um kind of like a geode or jade nail with gold and white and the jade color and i'm y'all i was so excited that they had it in when i got there but um, it's really beautiful. It's called Jade, and that's from the Colored Acrylic Collection. Okay, this one is a pretty pink, and it's called Michelle. Michelle is really cute. I always have to have a variety of pinks because I love pink. It's not my favorite color, but I do love pink. Everybody knows that, and that's Michelle. This one is a, I think this one is like a red. It's kind of orangey looking red. Not orange, but it's kind of a uh, coral, coral looking red. But the swatch is different. Once you um, touch it with that monomer, it's, it's a little different. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you. But this is Janet. That's Janet. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do the diamond acrylic collection. 
Okay, you can start with this one. This one is, ooh, it's a shimmer. You guys see the shimmer? That's not shine from the light. That's actually shimmer in the color. But this is pretty. It's called satin. Satin. That's pretty. That's pretty. That's a different shade of green. That's cute. I can't wait to do something with that satin. Okay, and this one, this diamond acrylic collection, this is a glitter. It's really pretty and it has a fine, I see a fine glitter and maybe a semi, semi fine pink glitter. It's not quite chunky, but it's fine, like a medium sized glitter in there. But this is um really pretty, it's called Cashmere. Mm -hmm. It's DA66 Cashmere. That's pretty, you guys. I've seen this swatch. It's really pretty. Okay, this one is called Black Lace. Now, this is my favorite black acrylic. It has kind of like a shimmer or like a glitter type look to it. Gives you kind of a metallic um, look once you put it on the nails. This is really, really pretty. It's called Black Lace. So if you want a pretty black acrylic, black lace, glam and glitz, black lace, and it won't hit your pockets like that. <clears throat> they add up though. So um, this one is called Blue Rain, and this one was pretty too. Like I can't wait. If you look at this, like it actually reflects different colors. I'm not sure if you can see that. It reflects different colors, but it's called Blue Rain. It looks kind of white to me from this angle on the camera, but it's actually called Blue Rain. Okay. This one is another pretty uh, color for the spring slash summer season, and it's called Sunflower. This also has a um, metallic look to it. Kind of like a super fine glitter look, maybe, but it's like it's like a metallic. It's not quite like a glitter. It's like a metallic, like this green right here. These are pretty. And this sunflower, it, its name is just probably what I'm gonna do with it. Some sunflowers. <laughs> I'm not sure, but this is pretty. I like that. That's the sunflower. Okay, so this last one from the Diamond Acrylic Collection that I purchased is called Latte. This one is also, most of the ones in the Diamond um, Acrylic Collection, if it's not a glitter, it has a shimmer and like a metallic shimmer. And if you can see that, has the same shimmer as the green, as that, the um, satin and the sunflower. They have that same exact shimmer. Let's see if I can turn it around. They got that same shimmer. You see that? Same shimmer. This here is like a bronze though. It's it's in the brown family, but this is more bronzier. This that bronze I've had been looking for. It's called Latte. Okay. So, and now this last collection, this is um, Popsicle. I have two other colors like this. I don't think either one of them is Popsicle though. Ugh. No, neither one of them is Popsicle. So, Popsicle, it's pretty. The name of this is ColourPop, the ColourPop Collection. And baby, the color popping. Color pop, baby. Popsicle. Okay. I have Private Island. This is a really, really light gray. Silver gray. I needed that. It's more, it's like a matte, a matte though. Matte look. It's not like a metallic, like um, like these in the diamond, the metallic look. This is more of a flat, a flat look. I needed that silver. 
or gray rather i should say gray silver kind of makes you think that it's shiny but it's not it's a flat okay this here is bikini bottom and that's pretty yeah bikini bottom i'm ready for spring and summer and this is called lighthouse i had a light blue um a little bit different from this but i needed another shade and so i got the lighthouse i got several blues but the one that was closer to this it was this is like kind of got more of a teal type of look to it but it's pretty it's called lighthouse okay and then i have this one and it's called water park baby where are your shades where are your shades, honey? The light is blinding me. That's so pretty. Water park. Yeah. And this last one that I have from the Color Park collection is called Palm Tree. This is a mint right here. You see that? This is a mint. That is so pretty too. Y'all done said so pretty so many times, but they are, they're beautiful. Okay, so now I did, um, this is a um, C&D Perfect Color Sculpting Powder. Um, this is a, a pure white. I had um, given out of my uh, white that I had. So I re-upped on that pure white. And my clear is almost out. So I got another clear. I don't really buy um, two big of a bottle. These are the four ounce bottles. They say 3.7, but they really like four ounces. These are the four um, considered as the four ounce bottles. But um, I'm thinking about starting to purchase um, the white, the clear, and my pinks in larger bottles. But these have been working fine for me. Um, it's easier for me to handle. I know I can just like pour into a smaller container, but I don't know. I just, I might decide to start buying these in larger containers. I'm not sure yet. But this is my white and my clear. And this is an opaque white. So I got those two and the C&D. And then I got, um, these are, these are Glam and Glitz as well. But these bottles are the two point, um, the two ounce bottles. And these were $11 as well. So these and the chisel brand, these are the same um, amounts um, and the same price. It's the two ounce. The one, the bottle is just made different. One bottle is made flat, flatter and round, wider. This bottle is made skinnier and taller. So, but they're two ounces um, around the same price, $11.95. But, um... This is from the Color Blend Collection, and it's called Stay Neutral. I did a um, set on a client's hand um, the other day, and she wanted um, she didn't want any color at all. And I wasn't satisfied with the way that it looked, so I was looking for something neutral with a, a pinch of color, but, you know, to just keeping it on the more neutral side. And this right here, yeah, this is the business right here. So that's for my girls that like to stay neutral, don't want no color, and just want that natural look, like maybe on a clear nail. This this right here is what you need. The stay neutral from the Color Blend Acrylic Set <clears throat> Collection. And this right here, oh, you guys. I hope this is as pretty as I think it is. This is called Rose Quartz. Yes, rose quartz. Can you see the glitter? Rose quartz. I don't remember seeing the swatch of this when I went into the um, nail supply store. But baby, the name rose quartz and the way it's looking in this jar. <laughs> Honey, you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. I love rose quartz. And then I might end up doing some marbling with this. I'll mar I think I'll marble with anything. <laughs> okay, so that's that on my acrylic collection that I got. I got a quite a good bit. Quite a good bit. Adding to my colors. Quite a good bit. Quite a good bit. 
okay and my gels my gels my gels my gels my gels this is my love my love okay so we can go on to the next thing so let's keep it moving let's keep it moving okay so i got a can of the nail glue dryer um these um run about nine dollars <throat> depending on where you get them from but i did go ahead and pick up a nail glue dryer can and this is um like seven seven point two ounces so i got that i picked up another oily brush on nail glue I don't really use too much of this, so I only buy these one at a time because um, if I'm applying a stone or something like that, I usually just use my um, rhinestone glue, my nail, my stone glue, I use that. Or um, I, if it's a really, really small stone, I usually just apply it with my um, gel polish, but that's for the orally. I don't remember how much that orally is, probably about maybe two or three dollars, not much. But um, I also picked up these two um, gel and um, the gel base coat and the top coat, the Eye Gel Beauty. I picked up these two and the top coat is in the silver bottle and the base coat is in the gold. I wish they would have swapped that around. I feel like the top coat should have been in the gold. But anyway. And these are the uh, 15 milliliter bottle bottles. These were, um, I can't even remember how much these were. I think they were like $8, I want to say, each. I can't remember, you guys. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't remember. If I um, find my receipt, I, I may put it in the comments, but I think they're about $8. We're just going to say 8 for right now. Okay, so... Um, we can go ahead and do this other second bag of things. So, I did go ahead and get some things from Amazon, like I said, um, as well as from my beauty um, supply store. So, let me just go ahead and grab these out the bag real quick, real quick, real quick. And we'll go through these as fast as I can. I don't want to hold you guys for too long and bore you. I want you to keep tuning in. Okay. So, we're going to start with, um, let's see. We can start with these, these two items here. This is something... Um, some glitter. This is a brand. It's SNS, but um, this is not an SNS powder. It's SNS brand, but this is actually um, just loose glitter. And I only purchased these two because most of the glitters that SNS had, I already had. And so these are like the chunky glitter glitters, the Mylar um, chunky glitters. And I just thought these colors were so pretty. So I purchased this. And this this one is D35. And this this is like a peachy color. Orange, goldish um, reflections. This one is D37. And this one is more pink, rosy gold. Can you see that? Like pink and rose gold. But this one is D37. D37 and this one is D35. And this is the SNS brand of the um the loose glitters. So I don't know. I'm thinking about um actually mixing these in with some um not all of it, but a little bit. I think about I'm, I'm thinking about mixing it in with some acrylic. But I bought those. These were actually around um $12 each. No, 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 11. These were 11, 11 dollars. And I usually don't pay that much for glitters, but these like it was calling my name. I had to get them. The way that they reflect the different colors like and it's just that solid the solid ones, I had to get those. I don't know if I like them yet, but 
I haven't really worked with them, but I will let you know. I probably swatched these two maybe with some, um, I'm not sure. I might mix it with like a colored acrylic, but I'll probably swatch these two. Okay, so I got, I picked up these small glitters. I already had a turquoise, but I'm thinking about doing a look with turquoise. So I wanted to get something different from what I had. So I'm thinking that this is a different shape from something that I already have. So I purchased these. Now these glitters are really inexpensive. Um, these I purchased for like a dollar a piece and I got several ones. Uh, give me just a second. I got, hold on, let me get myself situated. So I got that turquoise one. I got this neon one for the summer. It's pretty. This reminds me of the lemonade, the po the gel polish lemonade. It was a real popular color like last summer. I think it's still popular even throughout the winter. I've seen a lot of people wearing the um the lemonade. Um, this one. Um, they do have names on them, you guys. Let me go back. This one is called Instant Chunky Glitter, and the name of it is Lucky Jade. So that's Lucky Jade. Okay. This one, y'all, this pollen um, got me stuffy and itchy and everything. So if you hear me sniffing or breathing hard, keep in mind, it's the pollen. Okay, so this is called... This one don't really have a name. That one says Lucky J, and this one says L Green Glitter Shell Flakes Sequin. So this one don't actually have a name. <clears throat> this one has a name. This is called Shamrock Green. And if you look at that, it's really pretty. It has green. It has um, turquoise, a bit of gold. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, so I got those and this one. This one is called Tanzanite Lavender. So this is Tanzanite Lavender. And if you know what Tanzanite is, it looks just like Tanzanite. Tanzanite is a stone. It's a natural stone. So if you look at that, that looks like Tanzanite. That's pretty. But it's like blue, shades of blue, gold, uh, rosy gold, gold. That's pretty. It's tanzanite. Tanzanite lavender. I'm sorry. But the I just got four of those. I really don't need any glitter, but if I see some that I'll um that just like um, I know I don't have it in my collection, then I grab the glitters. So I got those four glitters. Now these um are in the same packages like the glitter, but these are actually um this one is a Louis Vuitton charm, you see. They're Louis Vuitton charms. And this one, I bought two different ones. This one reflects silver. This one reflects gold, but both of these are Louis Vuittons. See there? These were actually like uh, $2.97 each. So I bought those and then I also got the Chanel in the same ones and I, the Chanel one reflects gold and one reflects silver, but they also reflects like other colors as well. But the, that base color is a silver and a gold. I wanted to have some type of versatility. So, okay. So I bought these, these are cute. Let me shake them down. Maybe you can see what it is. So if you can see what that is, they're little angels. So these are gold angel charms. I don't know if you can see that, but they're really pretty too. Okay. Uh, let's go to these other charms. So... These, I have some um, designer charms already, but these were a little bit bigger, a little bit more chunkier 
than the ones that I have, but I have the bows. It has, let me see, let's take it out. Okay, so we have bows here. We have bows here. It's a different type of bow. This one is kind of like a tied knot bow. You can see that. And this one is just a regular bow, like a bow tie kind of. This one is a bow as well. It's more of like a girly, girly looking bow here. This one is a Chanel. This is another Chanel. This one is a flower. And that's another Chanel. The Chanel's are all different, a little bit different in the sizes. That's a bigger Chanel. We have a Louis Vuitton in silver and one across from it in gold. And we have Gucci at the top. Both of these are Gucci, one in silver, one in gold. And that's it. Oh, those are cute. Okay. This I thought was pretty. I don't know. I have to see how my clients react to this. But I got it for the colors. It's about to be spring and they reflect beautifully. So I bought it. We'll see how, how well they react to it. Some stuff you think pretty and they were like, I don't want that. But some stuff you be thinking um, is not so cute. And then everybody die over it. Like they were like, oh my God, I got to have that. So I don't know. We just got to see. But this is pretty to me. So if don't nobody like it, guess what? It's going on my nails. <laughs> it's going on my nails, honey. Okay, so I got another um container of pigment. You can do different things with just the raw pigment. So I got another container of pigment, and it did come with um your applicator brushes. I don't remember how much this is. I think this was like $9. Uh, yeah, I think this one was like $9. So I got that. These, you guys, I think were like, uh, six or more. I'm not sure. These two right here, I think they were like $6.90 something or more. I, I forgot. Like, I don't know. I don't forgot. So, um, these two items here I ordered from Amazon. Let's go ahead and take these two out of the pack. These came straight from Amazon, baby. Ain't nothing like seeing that truck pull up in front of your house. So, let's take these out too. When I tell you I've seen this guy, like a guy that, this guy that does nails, kind of like, he my secret mentor. He don't know he my mentor, but he my mentor. He's a um an Asian guy that does nails really, really well. And he is so bomb, you guys. When I tell you that his designs are bomb, he did this design with seashells that I've never seen done before. So I ordered, I ordered the seashells. I was like, I got to do it. Some of these flakes came big. I'm going to take it out of this pack too. Some of these uh, flakes came a little big, but it's no problem because I can always go in and crush them a little bit, you know, to the size that I want. So by them being big, it's okay. I don't mind. Okay, I'm still trying to get this out of packages. Hold up. Okay, there we go. Ooh, baby. Woo! Yes. Can't wait. Lord, bless me with some clients that want to explore. Lord, they can. They like to try new things. Some that like the things I like. Come on down. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. So, these are cute. Y'all, that was an oldie. But a goldie. Tell me this ain't everything. Oh my God, tell me, it's everything. I tell you, it's everything. 
It's everything. Look at the reflections. It's everything, baby. Look at that. Everything. Everything. We need all of the syllables. Everything. Everything, baby. Everything. I think I'm going to do a YouTube video when I do these. Everything. You're everything to me. Okay. And then these I got from Amazon as well. I don't remember how much I paid for those seashells. The sea, the cracked seashells, I think they were around $9 as well. This are some, these are foils. Yeah. I actually seen V nails. Another one of my mentors. I love the way she does nails. I actually seen, and I love the way her husband does her, um, her videoing and her editing, um, whatever that's called. I like the way he have her videos put together, but I watch her all the time. But, um, I actually saw her do a, um, ombre with these foils, with one of these foils. And when I tell you it was beautiful, not these exact foils, I don't think, but she had a foil that, um, remind you of some of one of these and so when i saw these i was like i'm gonna get these and do something creative with them they actually it actually came out really pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and do that but this came from amazon this um uh, uh i don't remember you guys on the price we're just gonna keep it moving i don't remember Okay, so these I actually purchased from my local nail supply store. And I'm going to show you what I have. Okay, this one came from Amazon. Hold up. Oh, yes. Uh, let me get them together for you. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so let's start with this one since this one came from Amazon. This is um, getting ready, you guys, for 420. Yes, my smokers. Yes, here you go. My 420s, they like to stay up in the clouds. I'm ready. I'm getting ready for y'all. I got some more stuff coming from four, for 420 as well. But um, these are cute. These are cute. They can actually go. I got the gold so that they'll be able to go with basically any color um, that you decide to do or, you know, any design that you decide to do. That gold is, would be like just that perfect accent. So I got the gold and it's like five different sheets in here of these, but you see, you got the marijuana leaf, the money, the crowns, the, what else we got here? We have the diamonds, we have the explicit words that some people don't wanna say. We got them. <laughs> uh, we got savage, baddie, bad girl, boss, juicy. Yeah, they got the key, the, the flames, the cherries, like, and it goes on and on. It's five different, um, five different sheets in this. I'll be um, showing you more in depth about these a little later. But um, I also purchased the Roman numerals. Uh, not the numerals. The um, I got the numbers, but they haven't got here yet. I got those from Amazon. These are the uh, gold um, hologram alphabets. That's what these are. See that? You're going to do something with those. I'm not sure. But I guarantee they will be used. Okay. This is Phoenix birds. These are Phoenixes. So I actually bought these, you guys. Came home, did my nails, and took one at the pack and put it on my nail. I just wanted to see what it'll look like with some glitter. It's a little bit too much going on. It takes attention away from my Phoenix. So I'm gonna do that again, but it is what it is. But that's the Phoenix bird. Everybody know the meaning behind the Phoenix. So I got these stickers. 
These are holographic um, hearts. I mean, yeah, hearts and flowers. That's what that is. Holographic hearts and flowers. I love to encapsulate things. And so the majority of things that I do buy outside of acrylics and like gels is um, things to encapsulate. I love encapsulating. So this is butterflies. Holographic butterflies. And they reflect different colors. My butterfly ladies. Okay, then I have all of these are in white. I've been had an overwhelming amount of requests for white decals. So I went in, I got me some white decals. Okay, so this one is your Louis Vuitton in the white. And you got your Louis Vuitton logos as well as the Louis Vuitton flower. We have the Chanel and these are the Chanel. You have the logo and then you also have the word um, written out, Chanel. You have those. So um these were actually around maybe three dollars a pack at the local nail supply this is fendi this is fendi prada chanel Swarovski, dior gucci louis vuitton we got them all right here and it's a different mixture so I added this to it because it's something different that was not in the other pack. So I got those. Let me get a sip of tea. Let me finish this last one, then I get a sip of tea. Okay, so this one is Versace. Yeah, it's Versace. Anybody know something about the Versace? Yes. You have the emblem, you have the word spelled out. You got it all, Versace. Okay, you guys, let me get a sip of tea. Okay, and this last bag, it's just some things, um, little supplies that I needed. I actually got um, two more of these, um, nail soaking bowls and the reason i like these let me show you guys the reason why i like these i got them. i always buy these in pairs let me show you the reason i like these i like these because of the compartments hold up let me show you You put your hot water here. You know when you're soaking off acrylic, if you use hot water to keep your um, um, acetone warm, it soaks off the acrylic. Um, it removes the acrylic faster if you have it warm. So you put your hot water in this bottom um, in this bottom con um, compartment, and then you, like y'all, it's upside down. I'm looking at y'all instead of um, what I'm supposed to be doing. But you put your hot water here, you put the top on the lid and you close it, snap it down. Hold up, snap, snap. Okay, so your hot water is underneath in here and then you pour your acrylic, um, you pour your acetone in here and then you place your fingers in here. That way, it keeps your acetone warm. You don't have to have two containers. When I first started soaking off my um, at my acrylic, I had acetone in one container, hot water in another, and send two bowls in one, covering up and all of this. And so, I just like to buy these where your hot water goes in the bottom portion of this container, top portion, acetone goes here, soak off your acrylic, done. But that's why I bought two more of these. I really like those. I'm going to put those to the side. I purchased another <clears throat> shape. I'm always buying nail tips. I um, bought another shape of nail tips. 
this is the stiletto and coffin and it's um, the TDI, it's the trans design. I bought it from the, it's the brand of my local nail supply. And I'm gonna show you what these look like. I like buying the um, stiletto um, coffin shaped ones because it's easy. They're already shaped. It saves up time on your um, sets and it saves you from a lot of filing and shaping because it's already shaped as a stiletto they're clear so let's see if I put it here can you see if I put it here hold up so it's shaped as a stiletto <clears throat> if you want it coffin you just cut the tip off you got coffin it speeds up your time I'm I've really been working on speeding you know on my time <clears throat> trying to uh, challenge myself to move faster because I do know that time is money and I know people ain't really got time to just be sitting there with you all day long. So I have been um, brushing up on my um, my time, trying to challenge myself. But these are um, a must must needed item that I purchased. <clears throat> I did get some more bottles. Um, I like to pour my monomer in these bottles. Uh, versus the bottles that they come in um, because when you're uh, pouring them into your your dapping dishes when you're pouring them into your dapping dishes it's easier to screech, 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 pour it in there rather than to be trying to um take your take your bottle of monomer and pour it like this and waste it everywhere so yeah so that's that. So I bought two more of those. I think I got three of those. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I got two of those and then I got another bottle for alcohol. I have alcohol right now in um, this spray bottle. It works well for me in the spray bottle, but um, sometimes I need to pour it. And so I just bought a, um, a bottle to pour the alcohol instead of spraying it. I just like to have a di another option. So I did purchase these nails as well. These nails did not um, nail tips did not come from my beauty, uh, my local beauty, uh, local nail supply store. These actually came from Amazon, and it's called the BT the BT Art Box nail tips. And these are actually shaped square. Um, I had to purchase, um, let me see, I can get a tweezer. I had to purchase some different shaped nail tip, tips because my initial aim was like, I really just like doing long nails, to be honest with you. Um, I love doing long nails. To me, uh, it's just a personal preference, but to me, I think that the shape looks a lot better on nails. Like, I hate when people come in and they want to get, um, I'm going to show you what these look like. But I hate when people come in and they show you a picture of these really beautiful nails um, that's long. Um, the design looks better. The shape looks better on the nail where you have enough length to make that shape look better. But if the nails are really short, the shape is not going to look the same. And so you're going to come out um, of whatever nail salon or out of your whatever place you're at with your nail tech. And you're, you're not your nails not going to be looking like the picture that you showed them because of the length. Length matters, especially when you're shaping and doing a certain type of design. Length matters. So just keep that in mind. But I do have a lot of people coming in requesting for like shorter nails and I don't want to waste like my long tips on short nail clients. So I already had like four different, wait a minute, one, two, three, four. I had six, six different boxes of um, short nail um, options, but I wanted to get more options because I had, I had curve and I had the straight, like the flat straight tips. But um, some people want a slight curve. So I did purchase these and I'm not sure if you can see it. It's a slight curve. Can you see that? Slight curve. And it gives like a more natural effect. Not too too much curve, but grows like it looks like it grows like your natural nail would grow in a curved um, slight curve. 
not like a dramatic curve, but like a slight curve. I think I got that from right there. I'm not sure. But anywho, I got this, um, these right here. And I, I did order these from Amazon. Ooh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So I got those two nail tips. I purchased this container. I originally purchased this for cuticle oil because my son and I make my own cuticle oil. I tell him what I, let me explain what I mean by my son and I make the cuticle oil. <laughs> I tell him what I want, how I want it to smell, and then he creates it. <laughs> so my son and I makes the cuticle oil. But um, my idea was to, um, like I said, I'm working on time. So I'm trying to um, shorten my time. Like my goal is to be able to do a client per, per hour, hour and a half, two hours max. So um, that's my goal. But um, my, my plan was to put cuticle oil in this jar and use like a nail brush, have it in the cuticle jar. When you get through with your clients, take it, swoop, swoop, you're done. So that's my plan. Like that's what I think I'm gonna do with this jar, but I'm not sure, but it's cute. It reflects different colors. Now this jar, you guys, this did not come from my local nail supply. This jar did not come from Amazon. This jar came from my local Dollar General for two bucks. See that? Two bucks, Dollar General. Cuticle oil. I'm thinking about it though because it doesn't have a way to close it. What I'm thinking about is maybe getting like make creating a top, like a lid for it, like out of some type of corky type material. Stick the brush through there. And then, like, I don't know, y'all. I'm artsy, creative type of person. I ain't no telling what I'm going to do with this jar. Anyway, I got it. <sighs> okay, so. I ordered this thingamajig. wonder what that is. This is actually a Panna Nail Dritz nail drill bit holder that's a lot of dead 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 this is a pan of nail drill bit holder i got it from amazon straight from the zone amazon isn't it cute isn't that cute and so i'm just gonna place i have a lot of drill bits but um I'm going to just place the ones that I use the most, my regular ones, like the ones that I use the most here so they can sit on the um, the desktop. So I purchased that. That was probably around $6 from Amazon. And I got this little bottle. You guys know what that is. You just squirt, 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 squirt. Got that. I think I'm going to put... Um, young nail swipe in here i'm not sure think that's that's what i'm thinking about doing haven't purchased a young nail swipe i'm thinking about it. it's like 35 dollars a bottle i'm trying to process in my mind if i want to pay 35 dollars for some swipe just because of the name brand i'm not sure if that's what i want to do so i'm thinking about it if not guess what goes in the bottle alcohol baby a little bit of alcohol so i did um let's see i did purchase this ceramic drill bit and it's the tapered barrel bit it's the three by 32 ceramic bit mm -hmm. i got that and that is by panna as well straight from amazon I also ordered this McCart nail um, drill bit. And this is the 3x32. And the 3x32 is your size of your barrel, your drill bit barrel. And that lets you know whether or not it fits in your drill or not. So um, this is the cuticle, the cuticle cleanup drill bit. 
Um, can you see it before I take it out? It's the one that you clean up the cuticle with. It's shaped a little funny. So I ordered that. Those two came straight from Amazon. I did get another pack of uh, nail tip glue. Um, let's see. All of this stuff came from my um, my local beauty, I mean, nail supply store. I'm used to saying, y'all keep saying beauty supply because I'm a licensed cosmetologist and I have did hair for like 27 years. So beauty is just in my brain, like it's embedded in my brain. But you guys know that I mean the nail supply store. And the name of it is Trans Nail Supply. And it's located here in Atlanta. It's actually, um, the address, it says Forest Park, but it's, I say it's in Lake City. If you know where Lake City at, um, Forest Park area, then you know how to um, find the, um, the trans um, nail supply um, warehouse. So I did pick up these 100 grit um, sanding bands. They, these are the medium ones. So no, 100 and this is the 150, the medium 150 grit sanding bands. And it's a hundred of them in the pack. So I did pick up that those. You always, you never can have enough um, sanding bands. Um, I also picked up another pack of um, applicators. I did, however, purchase these from the local um, beauty supply store and they were like $1.99. You see that, very inexpensive. You can use these for a lot of things when you're doing nails. Um, sometimes I can use them for cleanup. They're disposable. You don't use them from client to client. You just toss them in the trash. They're very inexpensive. And um, you can use them for like chromes, adding like different things to the nails. Like you can use them for different different reasons. I just like to keep them on deck. So I did get, um, because I all of the acrylic... Um, powders that I purchased, I did go ahead and purchase some extra swatching rings. So I did, uh, I think I purchased three, one, two, three of those. And it's actually 50 pieces here. So this is more than enough uh, for what I need. Um, the reason that I, I purchased three is because I've already had one and it was split up between my acrylics, my gel polishes and my glitter acrylics. So I purchased three more. So now I have four. And so one is going to be for gel polish. One is going to be for acrylic. One is going to be for, um, one for gel, one for acrylic, one for acrylic glitter, and one for the mood, um, the mood colors. So I'm going to have four, four different ones. Right now, I'm tr I was in the process of separating them. And I also bought these little cute dapping dishes, you guys. I got these from Hobby Lobby for $3.99. Hobby Lobby. And if, I don't know if you can see, but they are rose gold, like a peachy rose gold looking color. And all of them, I bought different ones. I just like to have a variety of cute things to work with. So um, right now, um, I just got my um, my swatches to my acrylics. I got it separated. These are gels. I got that and that one. I got this pretty shape one here. It's more round than it is. It's round and shorter than it is tall. The other one was a little bit tall. Now, this one was actually $5.99 at um, Hobby Lobby, but it's also that same rosy gold um, color. You, it doesn't look like the camera is like giving you the the true color. but And these are the um, glitter acrylics that I have separated. I'm going to go ahead and put them on the rings as soon as I get a chance to swatch um, the rest of it. And then this, this is a cute little design. This one kind of reminds me of, uh, I don't know what that reminds me of, but it's a cute little design. But that's another dapping dish I purchased. And this one was $3.99 at Hobby Lobby. So I got those. And these right here are acrylics. These are acrylic colors. I got another one that I purchased. This one, you guys, it was the same color and 
no 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 this one was this one was about this color this one is a clear one and this one i've been had but i got um my moods in here so i'm gonna go ahead and get that together later okay so what else is in my bag i ordered this um this is a professional acrylic brush in the size 20. Yeah, this is a size 20. And this is a Kalinske brush. It's a marbled Kalinske brush. I'm go ahead and take it out the pack. <clears throat> I know this is a long video, you guys, but this is what I purchased. These are the things that I bought. I'm trying to get it out for you. Okay. Okay. So I got marble because my I did purchase my nail table. It's marbled. Um I got some marble things over here on the table, but um beside me some marble. I'm thinking about working the marble into my brand um, design. Not sure yet. I'm um, in the brainstorming process. But I thought this was a cute acrylic brush in the size 20, if you can see that. It says 20. I had a smaller brush. I don't know what's right side up to you guys. I used to use smaller brushes and... um. After looking at a few tutorials and listening to some nail techs who's been in the game like for years and years, I decided to go ahead and purchase a bigger brush. And um, the reasons being, um, this is a small 20 though, you guys. I'm looking at this 20 like, this is a small 20. Like 20 should be, it should fan out. It should fan out a little bit wider than that. Some 20s are bigger than the other ones. But however, 20s, um, you're able to pick up hold more acrylic liquid. Um, go ahead and throw this away. You're able to hold more acrylic liquid. And um, also, you are able to pick up larger beads of acrylic when you have a larger brush. Now, of course, if you're doing someone's hand that has um, smaller nail beds, then you want to downsize your brush. So it's always good to have a variety of different size brushes um, so that you can um, use whatever you need to use depending on uh, the size of your client's um, real um, nail bed. Excuse me, you guys. I told you I, I'm sipping tea. Sipping tea and dropping stuff. Okay, so we're almost done. Let's see. I think I got two more items for you guys. And we're going to be done with this nail haul. Oh, no, no, no. I got this. I bought these. So, I bought these little picture albums. So, you say, Amelia, what are you using picture albums for in 2021? When we have all of this digital photos, Instagram, things like that, what are you using picture, like photo albums for? Okay, I'm glad you asked. So I'm using these photo albums. I like this one. It goes along with my theme of white. This one I bought first. I purchased this one in the um, Dollar General because I'm like, I just need something little to put my stuff in. A little inexpensive picture, you know, photo album. So I purchased this one for like, dollar or so in dollar um dollar general and i left out and i went to this other store and i found this one it was like um a consignment type store but it was brand new and i saw this one they had like tons of them and i was like oh i gotta get one of them i actually maybe should have bought two of these i may go back and try to get another one but as you can see it's pretty thick so i was thinking one would be enough but what I'm going to do with this photo album is I have a lot of nail art. I'm going to take my nail art like so, and I'm going to place them. Once I take them out the pack, it'll be easier for my clients to look to see what they want. When you got a lot of um, nail, um, nail art, 
products, it's hard for your clients to just sift through like everything you have if you got it here and there. All of my things are organized. Those of you who know me know that I'm a very organized person. So my things are organized, but still when you have a bulk of things, like a, a larger quantity of things, you want to keep everything organized so that your clients, um, it's easier. You know, who, who doesn't want easy? So I'm going to put them in here. I'm going to take them out the package, of course, but they're going to be in here and you're going to be able to flip through this photo album as if you were looking at photos to see if, if you wanted either one of these nail designs or not. And so, like I said, you can see it's tons of pages. Like I really, you guys, I might not need another one of these, but the nail in the nail game, honey, they constantly create stuff. I might need to go get another one and just have it for backup. So my things match. I like the stuff to match, but yeah. So that's what I'm going to do with these. This one, I'm probably not going to use because I really didn't like the color. I'll probably get this to my daughter or something. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and throw that over there. But um, yeah, that's what this is going to be. An album for my nail art. I think that's super cute. Super cute idea. Okay. So I have two more items to show you guys. And we'll be done with this nail haul. And the first one is something small. Well, I got three, three, three more items. Okay, so this is, I thought these were super cute. These are nail, like hooks that you can put on the wall. They got, um, like they're all separate. They're not connected and you can like arrange them on the wall, however you like. So what I purchased these for is to um, hang my rings. Once I swatch my um, acrylics, I'm going to have these on the wall and I'm going to hang my acrylic swatches on the wall so they're easily accessible to my clients. So this was a good, a good find. This was a wonderful find. Actually, I got it from Dollar General from, oh no, you guys, I've been saying, oh no, those other things did come from Dollar General. This one came from Family Dollar for $5. So you get three in a pack, $5. See the picture? They're got little, they just hung them randomly on the wall. I'm going to hang them on the wall and hang my swatches on them. I thought that was a cute little find. And I did purchase these. I got these from Hobby Lobby. And this, these are backgrounds swatches for filming and for um pictures once i'm done with my clients nails so i got the white fur Ooh, i got a gold and that's just gold by itself just plain gold a little shimmy shimmer shimmy shimmy cocoa pop and i have this one and this one is my favorite this is my favorite favorite you guys this is gold along with a rose gold um glitter that reflects pink green lavender yes give it to them baby that's pretty that's my favorite one i'm thinking about doing a whole wall in this like yes i need a wall done in that that's pretty Okay, I have the white. The white also reflects a little different color, shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop. And this one is rose gold. It's pretty. Reflects a little purple lavender as well. And gold and rose gold, pink. It's pretty. This one I just thought was cute. And I was like, I don't know what type of nails I'm going to have to put on this one. But maybe some if someone get like a French French design or something like that. Something real simple. But this is cute. I think I might do some nails like that. That's some inspiration right there. Yes, come through with the blue and the white and the pink. That's cute. But that's that on that that on that and these came from um these actually came from hobby lobby this one was like 297 
Um, these ones were $2.49 a piece, $2.49 a piece. The thing about it is when I purchased these, they had a sale and everything was 50% off. So I didn't pay $2.49. I paid like $1.25 for these. So yeah, all of these are $2.49 each. Well, this one, the gold is $1.99. So I actually paid like 99 cent for that one. And then the blue was 99 cent. I paid 50 cent for that. So it's it just it just depends on what you want to do, what ideas you have, how creative you are. Um, you know, you just gotta know know what's what, what to do with what, how it works for you. So my last item of the night, because it has begun to get dark, is this Melody Susie drill. I've seen other nail techs do um, reviews on this and I needed a new drill because mine was showing her butt. She was acting up and I'm like, girl, you guys, she was turning up on me. Didn't have no chill, just on 1000 all the time. So I'm like, girl, I'm going to have to put you down. I'm have to leave you at home for a little while till you get yourself together. So I ended up purchasing this Melody Susie drill and this one should i open it i'm gonna i give y'all a little peek this is the scarlet drill most of you probably will be familiar with this a lot of people use it but um i want the kiara sky but or either the nail pro but um this is something that i wanted to try and review before doing that so i bought i purchased it and so it's really it's really really cute let me see if i can adjust the camera a little bit it's really really cute and this part here actually sits on the um let me move this this part here actually sits y'all got so much stuff on my um uh, on my table i'm dropping stuff everywhere it sits like this I already got some stuff on the floor. Okay, it sits like this. You hook your drill and stuff into the bag, your handheld um, device into the bag. It has your power control switch on the front. You're on and off. And when your drill is resting, I'm going to show you with my other hand piece. This is not the hand piece to go with this drill. This is mine. It sits in here like this. So this is how it will look, but with the one the black and white one that goes with the melody susie drill so your 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 hand piece basically just rests in this base like that but i thought it was cute i wanted to try it and so i did so i i'll probably do a review on this to let you guys know how it works for me um and what i you know my opinions of the melody susie drill is i probably go ahead and do a review for you guys but just be on the lookout for that i think i will that's a definite i will i'm gonna go ahead and do a review it came with um some sanding bands um that's the power cord it came with a little drill set some people say that they don't use these i use these I don't know about you guys, but I use these. I use this one to put my sanding bands on. I've never bought a different one. I always use the one that came with the first drill that I that I purchased. And then I purchased a set of drill bits when I first got started a couple of years ago. And um, I've been using those. But I do have in my cart on Amazon a gold set that I... Um, a pan, I think it's pan, a gold set that I wanted to um to use because I'm um like I've decorated most with white, black, and gold. So I um did I like everything to flow. So I did um I have that in my car. I'm not sure if I ordered it yet or if I'm waiting to order it. I'm not sure, but I do use these. But um let's go ahead and put this back. Yeah, I'm kind of excited. I think I will go ahead and do a um the review on the um the drill this is the hand set let's go ahead and take a peek at it and see what it's looking like oh it has the foot pedal too but you guys i don't think i'm gonna use the foot pedal i didn't use the foot pedal for my first my very first drill 
It has the foot pedal. I think I knew that. I probably forgot. Okay, so let's just open the box with the handset in it. Okay, let's get this big box out the way. Okay, so this is the hand piece. Oh, it's silver. It's cute. I think that's going to be really, really cute. Yeah. This car seems like it stretches a little bit farther than the one that I have now. Yeah, I think I'm going to like that. The weight, it's a good weight and everything. And I like the grip and the way that it's made. See how it, it indents here? It goes in a little bit here. Feel, it feels like I'm going to be able to hold this a little better than my other drill. Let's compare real quick. Real quick, and I'm going to let you guys go. See? I got this one wrapped with some, like, the surgical, not surgical tape, whatever. Um, I can't think of this. Whatever the name of these are. You can find these at your local um, nail supply store as well. I just picked up two different, um, two different kinds, but... I always wrap and after using it a couple of times, like now, you see how it's look, it looks more? This needs to be rewrapped. I always rewrap it after a couple, a couple of times, but I've been busy. I haven't rewrapped it yet. But um, the weight is pretty good on this one and it's, it's a little bit different in size down here on the part that you hold, your hand part. You see that? Yes. I think I'm going to like it. I think I'm going to like it. But I'll let you guys know on the later date. Well, thank you guys for... No, no, no. Not not quite. Not quite. I like to forget something. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold your horses. One second. I like to forget something. I've been wanting to try the Young Nails um, Liquid Monomer. So I did purchase this one. Um, this size is six fluid ounces, Young Nails. Um, I bought this from my local beauty supply. It was, y'all, let me tell you. When I tell you they stay sold out of Young Nail products at my um, local beauty supply, they um, never have none of the colored, um, the colored acrylics, like their cover, the cover pinks, the nudes, the peaches, like, Young Nails always sold out. The clear, you can't even get a bottle of clear, like a jar of clear acry acrylic. And then they have the ones in the um the real big jars that's like about this tall, about that tall. They have those for like 70 something dollars. They stay sold out. Like you can never get them. I was, they have this acrylic too in a bigger bottle. These are the only ones that they had. So I was glad that they did have a smaller bottle so I can try it and see how I like it. So I will let you guys know how I'm feeling the Young Nails um, liquid, um, nail liquid. I'll let you know that as well. Um, I bought this a brush cleaner. I had another brush cleaner. I like to clean my brushes periodically to make sure that they stay um, ma well maintenance. But I actually had um, some brushes um, that I purchased from the... Um, art store and they the color of the brushes got into my um my nail cleaner and so i had to purchase some more brush not nail cleaner brush cleaner see how dark it is it's black and it was like light pink so i'm i think i'm just gonna go ahead and trash this one and i did buy a new bottle of um brush cleaner so that's that and this is just something I picked up. Um, it says Total Cure 9-in-1 Nail Aid. Um, so I like use, I'm going to soak my nails off this week sometime. And sometime I just like to take like a week or two and just like not have any nails on my nail, uh, on my hands. So I did pick this 9-in-1 Nail Total Cure Nail Um color up it's like it's a clear it's not a color but uh formula this nail formula i picked this up so that i can nurture and take care like my nails are i never um i never um what do they say um what do y'all what do you guys say um 
when you um take your pop them. I never pop my. I don't know why that word was not in my mind. I never pop my nails off. I soak them, and so they're in pretty good condition when I um take my nails off. But I still like to come back with something that rebuilds, strengthens, um, thickens my my natural nails. I like to come back and do that for like every other day for like a week or two, and then I go back into um to doing my nails. I just do it periodically, but um, I bought this nine in, nine in one total cure for nails and the benefits, it says nine benefits in one. It's for growth. It's a hardener. It's a strengthener, top coat, base coat, moisturizer, thickener, ridge filler, anti-fade and a um, anti-fade brightener. So if your nails are some people nails, um, depending on what they do, I don't know for what reason your nails will be stained. But uh, if your nails are stained, it will um, brighten it up. Or if they're, if they're yellowy, sometimes your nails just naturally turn like yellowy, depending on the things that you put in your body. But um, it's an anti-fade brightener as well. So that's the last thing I have for you guys. And um, that concludes this video. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much love from Miss Amelia and Pretty Nail Notes. And you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Goodbye.